Well, welcome to day 17. Pastor Mark here with you again. And as we've come into the second half of our time together with these prayer primers, if you've been following us for most of, if not the whole two-week period, I'm kind of curious, how is your prayer life developing? Are you perhaps finding it easier to pray more often? Is prayer becoming a more familiar part of your day? And I know some people I've talked to already in the last little while, they've said they're seeing a change in their lives and they are, are just aware of God's presence and movement throughout their days more than they were prior. I hope maybe you're having some of the same experiences. And it's an important thing for us to do because Praying regularly helps us to see the power that exists in prayers. I know in my own life, as I've been participating in these prayer primers, I just feel like I'm more aware of the ways that God is guiding me, the way that he's providing for me, and on a regular basis, how he's protecting me from different situations. And so today I want to share with you a passage from Psalm 103, where King David acknowledges the signs and the wonders of God in his life, where he recognizes God's presence in his life, and offers that back to him as praise. So from Psalm 103, verses 2 through 5, we read, Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle's. Now, we don't know exactly what happened in David's life to prompt him to write this psalm. Perhaps there was a moment and an encounter he had, or it may simply have been that he was having one of these nice moments of reflection. Perhaps he was reflecting upon things like when, when God chose him as a young man and sent Samuel to anoint David as the future king of Israel. Perhaps he was remembering how God had empowered him to defeat Goliath and to defend the nation how God had protected him from Saul for years while he was running in the wilderness, or, or perhaps how God had been faithful to him to see all of these promises through to fulfillment to the point where David, after many years of waiting and wandering and being faithful, eventually was established as the greatest king in the history of Israel. We can see, considering all of these events that took place in David's life, why he begins by saying, Praise the Lord, O my soul and forget not all of his benefits. Have you ever done an exercise like that? Perhaps where you just sit back and reflect, or, or even maybe technically take an inventory of God's call and work in your life. When we're preparing people to be baptized, part of that preparation is to help them to write out their testimony, and, and they include aspects of their story such as that. Things like, how did God reveal himself to you? pondering and reflecting upon questions like, like what people, what situations, what challenges and events took place in your life as God revealed himself to you? What does it mean to you to be baptized at this particular point in your journey? Or, or, or what have you seen as different in your life since finding new life in Jesus? You know, if you've never been baptized, well, I have good news for you. This coming Sunday, we're having a baptism service, and you can watch some of them. Or maybe you even want to contact us at the church and be a part of that. There's still time, if that's your case, and that's how you feel God's leading you. But whether you've been baptized or not, can I encourage you to just set apart some time, maybe even today, to write out your testimony, to take a bit of an inventory of God's signs and wonders in your life. Would you pray with me? Lord, we praise you for the various, the unique, and all the loving ways that you've revealed yourself to us. God, we know that when we look at creation, when we look at the events in the world around us and our lives, we look at the people you've brought into our lives. In all of these things, Lord, we can see your movement and your guidance. Lord, if any of us have lost that sense of wonder that perhaps we once had, at the presence that you have in our lives. I pray, God, that in this very moment, in this time of prayer we have right now, that you would reignite that in our hearts. And Heavenly Father, I pray that we would have eyes to see you in this world today, that through having eyes to see you, we could acknowledge you, we could grow in our relationship with you, and we could further seek to join you. We pray this all in Jesus' name, amen. And now may God bless you as you continue in your own time of prayer, praising repenting, asking, and yielding to God.